Welcome to my simplified earth and life science channel. Have you ever wonder, how did everything around us was created, or, how old is the world around us? Perhaps at some point the answer is yes, unless you are a religious person, then the answer is simply, it was created by God. Today, is the day we discuss the very first lesson in every earth and life science class, the origin of the universe. Before we begin our discussion, let us ponder on the words in our title. Origin means beginning or starting point, which all of us know. But how about the universe? What is a universe? Well, according to Oxford Dictionary, universe, definition goes like this, all existing matter and space considered as a whole. Which literally means that everything you can see, touch or hold is the universe. Quite broad isn't it? When it comes to the origin of the universe, there are two categories that tries to answer the question for you. Religion and theories. Let us state the difference of the two in a simple manner. Religion is a particular system of faith and worship, while a theory refers to supposition or systems of idea intended to explain something. The first believed in sacred scriptures while the latter seeks proofs to explain a particular phenomena. Let us first talk about religion. There are numerous religion around the world, Hinduism being the oldest, Judaism, Christianity and Islam being the largest to this day, just to name a few, believe that the universe was created by God. To put it simply, it is called creationism, which can be summarized as the religious belief that everything was made or created by God or deities. We're not going to talk about the seven-day creation or the Rigveda, but it is nice to know that we can summarize religion's idea. Theories as I have mentioned refers to a supposition or system of ideas intended to explain something. Which is basically scientists trying to speculate about how the universe came to be, based on mathematical data or something like that. There are three famous theories we can explore about the origin of the universe. The Big Bang, oscillating an atomic universe. The Big Bang Theory. Contrary to popular belief that the universe starts from nothing, then explodes, the Big Bang Theory is actually the opposite. It is believed that the universe was 13.8 or so billion years old where space and time is not separate and considered as one. A single point appears, then expanded and stretched to grow as large as it is right now. It is still growing and expanding as you watch this video. Oscillating theory on the other hand suggests that the universe passes through successive cycles of expansion and contraction. You can think of it as a clay dough that you can stretch and compress for better understanding the context. And last but not the least, is the atomic universe theory, I believed it was created by Democritus, which also the same guy who expresses the idea that the earth is round. According to Democritus, the universe is made up of tiny atoms. As to how this atoms originate, I do apologize, there isn't any explanation because they are Greeks that simply says something like that without much explanation. Do not be fooled though, because the atom models of the Greeks is not the same as the model of atom that we know to this day. I do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, kindly click that like button and subscribe for more. 